Hello, good morning, and welcome back again. Um, sorry about all of the technical issues that we've had this morning. We are actually live on YouTube only. I seem to be having issues with, um, with Facebook this morning, so I do apologise. Um, but we're going to carry on regardless. So it'll be quite interesting just having um, YouTube on your own this week. Um, so thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for staying here. We, I'll keep trying with Facebook. All I'm get getting is connecting. We're connecting, but it's obviously not. Um, and my camera went black. So, But we're going to carry on anyway. If it takes us all day. So we're going to have a bit of a chat, have a catch up, say hello to as many people as I can. Morning, Lisa. We've got her on YouTube anyway. Um, and morning, um, my love. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, all good, lovely. Hi, hi Kim. Hi Cher. Good morning to you. Um, as soon as we can get onto Facebook, we will do. Hopefully, Kim's put a, a message up there apologising because there were hundreds of you watching. Um, hi Jen um, and Irene and Nikki. So, where in the world are you? What are you up to? What are you doing? What are you sewing? Come and let me know. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Okay. I have some new things to show you, which you got a glimpse of if you were watching earlier on. Um, oh, hello, Samantha. Welcome along for the first time. Um, these fabrics are actually, you're thinking it's the same as we've brought you before, but they're brand new. Um, these, it's a complete collection of 10 half meters of fabric. The quality is gorgeous. Now these are quite a heavy weight of cotton. So if you bought the cotton um, bundle that we brought to you previously, these colours are slightly different and it's a, um, it's a different weight of fabric. It's slightly heavier. So they do get softer as you wash them. So if you wanted to quilt with them, then I maybe pre-wash all of these. I have washed the purple one on a 30 degree wash. It did go softer and it didn't fade either, which was lovely. Um, so they are 112 centimetres wide and half a meter in length and you've got 10 of those and although it's a more expensive fabric we've kept it at the same price as the previous bundle that we brought you um, so I just wanted to let you know that we've got quite a few fabric bundles actually and they they sell so well um, if you're new this is on the Debbie Shaw sewing website by the way still can't get onto Facebook can we still I'm, I'm keeping trying keep trying um, morning Leslie Dull in Preston. Oh, it's lovely here. It's, all, all, oh, it's very windy, but it's very sunny. Um, oh, hi, Mary from Paxos, making a bag for a friend's birthday. Lovely. Um, yeah, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube. I'm just not back on Facebook at the moment. Might have to do an impromptu Facebook Live tomorrow morning to make up for it. Um, hi, Samantha. Right, so that's those. Um, yeah, if you knew, this is on Debbie Shaw Sewing, on my Debbie Shaw Sewing website. We do post around the world, but just to warn you, postage outside of the UK is very expensive at the moment. Um, so we can do it, but you know, the cost of postage is out of our hands. Let me show you some more fabric bundles. We will be doing some Easter bunting in a bit. I've been promising you Easter bunting this morning, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to be working with felt and there'll be a, a bit of hand sewing as well. Um, right, have a look at these. Because I'm feeling summery. I know for the last few weeks I've been saying, oh, I, I, I want spring colours and I want happy colours to work with. I've changed my mind. I'm in summer now. So we're under the sea with corals. Oh, that's gorgeous. Again, 100% cotton, and these have been bundled together with two coordinating fabrics. The thing I like about bundles like this is that you know that all of the colours are going to match. It can be quite difficult, I think, particularly when you're ordering online, to see that the colours match perfectly because photographs and kind of travelling through the ether um, sometimes... Um, the colours just don't look the same as they do in real life. So if you put in colours together yourself, sometimes you get them and you think actually they don't quite match. But when you buy a bundle, you know that they do. So these have been perfectly put together so that you know that they're going to match. Three half metre lengths you have there. And again, if you have a look on the website on Debbie Shaw TV, no it's not, it's Debbie Shaw Sewing. I don't know where that came from. Um, you can have a look at the prices and things there because I can't remember of the thing. Because we, have, we haven't got graphics. Um, yeah, we're back again. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one having problems this morning, Sabine. Morning, Caroline. Uh, Sarah, I'm doing very well. Thank you very much. Um, it's 6.30 a.m. in New York. Ooh. 
I always get up this early. Let me show you more. Excuse the, um, the rattling of the cellophane, by the way. Um, like the kimono so much. <laughs> Liz has gone kimono crazy. This is a lovely bundle. And again, I'm thinking summertime. Um, look. And it's lovely quality as well. So, and this is actually a pack of five. All half meters again. So we've got balloons and aeroplanes. They look like flags, don't they? And then you've got the right color yellow and the right color navy to go with them as well. So I think they make a lovely collection. If you're thinking of making a quilt, a child's quilt or cushion covers and things like that, I think that would look really, really nice. So that's a collection of five. Love these collections, don't you? Um, I'll put those back in there later. Put you down there. Then we've got another collection of three. And I don't know anywhere else that does these. We do have them specifically chosen and put together for you. So these are um, kind of exclusive to Debbie Shaw Sewing. Now this is a nice bundle because you've got the yellow in there as well. Uh, isn't that seasidey? Um, hi Jill, morning to you. Um, sunny and breezy in Yeovil, lovely. Um, kimonos are lovely, thank you Cher. Again, we've got three half metres there. We've got into some sewing in a bit. I, didn't, I don't want to do too much kind of telly selly on a Saturday morning, but I do want to show you these because the bundles tend to sell out by the end of the day. We've got a few hundred of each, so we should be okay. Uh, morning, Sonia. I'm having a big problem with Facebook at the morning. All it's telling me at the moment is it's connecting. So well, welcome along to YouTube if you've come over from Facebook because you can't join us there. Um, Wednesday live from it. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're all over the place. Facebook on a Saturday, Facebook and th the website on a Wednesday, YouTube on a Saturday. Look at these. Now, this is a canvas collection. Love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so, again, that's a, a, it's a lightweight canvas, but it's a really good, strong fabric. Great for bag making, this one. And that is teamed with a canvas mustard colour. So, that colour's been picked up there, look. And then you've got a cotton in the lilac. Three perfectly coordinating fabrics. What are you going to make with them? I haven't got any updates on Facebook at the moment, and it's just saying connecting for some reason and I've no idea why let me see if I can refresh that one try again no nope, I'm still getting connecting do apologize about that um, not a lot I can do at the moment so I thought rather than um, spend another half hour trying to go live on Facebook at the same time we'll we'll carry on without it this morning there ah, who needs it um, scrummy it's lovely isn't it hello from Windy Hamburg in Germany and greetings to you too and um, that's Hannah uh, morning Deborah morning Sarah morning Pauline um, a Parker jacket that's a nice idea um, morning Leslie rubbish weather down there no we're okay here. I think we're quite lucky today might even get for a dog walk later on. Okay, should we do a bit of sewing? So I've already cut out my shapes. So I've been saying for a while about having a, having a really good Easter this year because many of us didn't have a very good Christmas last year. Um, <laughs> the bug over my right shoulder. No, not even that. This one of my favourite ones, Jenny. <laughs> Mind you, I've never used it. Um, hello, Debbie in St. Louis. Um, and Sharon, all the way from the Caribbean. Whereabouts in the Caribbean are you? Um, we've had um, a, a viewers in uh, Trinidad and Tobago before now. Never been there. Been to Mustique. Visited Barbados on the way there. That's about it, Caribbean wise. Um, hello, Deco in Chile. Hi Jean, hi Megan, and Geraldine morning, had an operation for, ooh, <laughs> you've got a new genome, genome machine, is that one that um, you don't need to use the foot pedal for, um, right, I'm, I've, I've given up with YouTube, it's, uh, sorry, with Facebook, it's 
kind of not happening. One last go. See if that helps. Anyway, I've already cut out my egg shape. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have a really good Easter this year. E Easter day is um, the Sunday the 4th. Um, so we've got our Easter baskets made. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's too far, Jet. I think I think I'm over going to the Caribbean these days. I did. I worked in Mustique. Um, I'd never, I'd never been. I have been to more because I did a cruise. I did. Um, uh, I modelled on a cruise ship for their um, brochure. Forgotten all about that one. That would have been about 25 years ago. So where did we go? Can't remember. We didn't actually visit many of the islands though because when the cruise ship stopped at the islands that's when we did the work so we didn't actually get off. I do remember going to Curus though because I like the drink. Um, we are doing, Megan, oh, thank you very much Judy, um, Easter egg bunting because I just thought it'd be fun. Um, hello Jen in Australia. <laughs> she was going, we're keeping her up, she was going to go to bed. Right. So I've already cut out some shapes. Now my, my actual egg, I just drew it um, and then made it symmetrical. So it, it's kind of egg shaped. It's about, about four and a half inches long, something like that. And the nice thing is it doesn't really matter, does it, whether it's perfect or not. And this is a great project for kids. Working with felt is always a nice idea because it doesn't fray. It's easy to sew through. Um, this is from the pack of felt that we've got on the website, actually. So it's, it's a crafting felt, so it's nice and affordable as well. Um, and it's nice to embroider because the stitches really stand out. So I'm not doing loads of embroidery, but there will be a little bit. But I want to make all, oh, that looks like a chicken. We could just do a chick with that, couldn't we? Um, so I'm just going to do different, um, designs on each one of the eggs so I've, I've just cut a few random ones out so and, and two of each because it'll have a front and a back and it's going to have a little bit of padding in there as well so that's that that's that that's 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 that and that's my template and i made it out of card so i can just keep um keep drawing around it and keep using it over and over again mel's just had a vaccine i'll be mine tomorrow um calorie free eggs absolutely um, right, so what should we do? I was going to do daffodils. That one's going to be a chicken because it just looks like it should be. So that's going to be really easy. Um, let's do some daffodils on a dark background. So I've got a little bit of yellow and I've got a little bit of the deep yellow. And I'm just going to cut out petal shapes. So let me trim a little bit of that off to make it easier. And then I'm just going to freehand cut petal shapes all around about the same size. Um, if you want to draw first, then that may be an idea. If you're really not very good at cutting out things like this freehand, then you'll always get templates on uh, online. If you go into your search engine and just put in um, daffodil sketch free clip art make sure that you're not taking somebody else's designs and how many how many petals does a daffodil have can't think well this one's gonna have five do they have six? Oh, they have quite a few don't they well this one's gonna have five so those are going to go on here let's do it to one side we'll have a jaunty angle and I'm only going to glue these on, so that's going to be nice and quick. So let's do that. So I'll just have a spot of glue in the middle where those are going to go. Like so. If you've got this kind of glue, always put your lid back on, it gets ever so runny. Um, Julie wants to make a reversible kimono, but need to increase the chest to 26, 28. Yeah, I think I explain um, on the instructions or in the video, I can't remember which one. Um, you increase the shoulder size. Um, for every, every size, generally for a, a dressmaking pattern, is half an inch bigger than the previous. 
So I think the, the, the one that I was wearing, the one that I actually made, um, was up to a size 18 or thereabouts. Um, so if you just add a half inch for every size you're going up, and remember the, the only even numbers, so it's 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, not 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26. Um, so that, that should be fine. So uh, you won't need to increase the length, you won't need to increase the sleeves, it's just the width across here that you need to increase. That's for those of you that aren't aware, is one of the projects from um, my Half Yard Sewing Club. And it's been one of the most popular ones, to be honest. Anyway, I'm getting on with this without showing you what I'm doing. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of, you've got pink in shoes, that would be ideal. I'm just making the edge of this little strip of felt a bit wobbly. That will do. And another blob of glue on here. And then I'm going to roll this up. It's quite nice to get crafty occasionally, isn't it? instead of just sitting at the sewing machine all the time. Nice to do something sometimes that doesn't need sewing. Or minimal sewing anyway. So that's rolled up. That's going to go right in the centre like so. It's looking quite sweet, isn't it, that? Big blob of glue there. Watch, let me stick that under there. Don't want to waste it. Right, then I'm going to embroider a stalk. I might even put a leaf on it as well. So I did have some green here. So I've got all of the strands as well. So I've got the whole six strands of thread. And I'm just going to start. I'd normally wait for that glue to dry, to be honest, but that'd be like watching paint dry, wouldn't it? I'm going to do a nice long back stitch so it stands out. And again, if you wanted to um, draw your line on first, then that's an idea. I'm just going to go round with a little curve. Like so. So I've got a nice thick line. I'm not worried about getting the, you know, we're, we're not, it's not an embroidery class, so I'm not worried about these being absolutely perfectly uniform in length or anything like that. Let's take the needle through to the back. And we'll have a little knot there. Well, if I do a Facebook Live tomorrow morning, I don't know what to do now, because I was going to just do this this weekend. So that's that. Now I'm deliberately not putting these right up to the edge because I'm going to be sewing these together. So I need to sew behind there. Um, let's put a little leaf on there as well. Oh, actually, they have long leaves, don't they? Like that. That will do. A bit of, bit of glue on the back of there. One more petal you reckon, share. I, d I think they're, they're kind of layered, aren't they? Oh, I think I need a pin in the end of my glue. Like that, and then, whoa. That can go there. Do we need another petal? I've got, I want to be reasonably accurate, I suppose. We can have another petal in there, couldn't we? We can do that. Maybe a little bit smaller. Can you tell I'm making it up as I go along? Right, I can go there. Lid on. So glue's not not quite dry so I can just stick it underneath. Does that look better? Six petals look better than five for my for my daff. I think that needs to come out a little bit. Okay and then we'll sew these together. Now I'm not going to sew right sides together and turn inside out. I'm going to see the stitching around the edge of here. So let's bring in the tip machine. 
and I need to leave a gap for stuffing it so we'll do that at the bottom now I've got white thread which I'm going to use on all of them so you will see it let's go a little bit longer with the stitch but I don't mind that if I was um, if I had a little bit more time I could perhaps change the color of the thread to match the egg but you know it's only, it's only an Easter egg at the end of the day oh we don't want to sew over you let's move you out the way finishing off with pinking shears would be quite nice as well wouldn't it right so let's leave a bit of a gap there and we'll have a bit of toy filler in that one well we're gonna have toy filler in all of them just make sure i've got all of it See, I haven't have missed a bit at the back there, look. Well, I'm not going to stitch over it again. I'm going to put some glue behind that. That's what I'm going to do, because nobody would know if I hadn't have pointed it out. Getting covered in glue now. So let's have a little bit of stuffing inside this one. And the nice thing, you don't need to put this uh, toy filler in if you don't want to. You could just have them completely flat. I've left that hole rather small, haven't I? But I think it's, it's nice to give them a little bit of, oh yes, and, and nice to have a little bit of shape. Makes the, um, the flower stand out as well, doesn't it? So let's do that. So has anybody been crafting with the kids? I've got all of those videos on, um, on YouTube that I've, I need to add to just finding the time in the day at the moment finding the days in my life at the moment do you know I, I, I have a ditty for you my dear daughter doesn't know about this one so she's gonna be ever so embarrassed um, my little ditty book has gone missing I've got so many ditties to share with you and I can't find them so I'm, I'm, I think this may be one of the culprits that's hiding my ditty book. Coffee? Yes, please. Thank you. Um, right, let's put a little bit more in here. Then we'll, should we have a, di a ditty break, I think? When I finish this one. What, what would be nice as well if you have some um, fabric, or not even fabric pens, felt pens, which I, I, I don't, I do, I've got a sharpie, let's have a go. I'll just, um, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Um, right, let me just sew around the bottom of here to close the hole over. Like so. <laughs> he's gone now Lisa he pops in he gives me coffee and he goes again see I've, I've got my fingers covered in glue and then I put my hand in the in the toy filler and I've got the toy filler stuck to my fingers mm. that will do won't it that looks quite sweet oh, what I was saying with the with the pens I've got a, a green sharpie in my pot to maybe give it a, some shading so maybe a stem, or if you've got a, a, a darker colour, maybe a dark orange colour pen, just to make it a little bit more lifelike maybe. So that's worked quite well in green, hasn't it? And on the end of the middle bit maybe. That looks rather sweet. And again, really easy, no particular patterns. Um, Demi one of the triangle tablet pillow stands. I've got I've got one on a um, on here on YouTube. Um, it's <laughs> it's a chicken one, uh, so it's got a beak and everything. But it's it's the same principle. So if you leave off the beak and the wings, then um, then there's one on on there already. Is it ditty time? Let's have a cup of coffee and read a bit of a ditty. Um, Oh, that'd be nice, Mary, all in pastel colours, wouldn't it? I'm quite pleased with that. That was rather sweet. Right, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
As I travelled from the city, I thought of a little ditty, so I wrote it on some paper to read to you lot later. But when I took a look, I couldn't find my book. I knew that I had written it and perhaps someone had hidden it. I know I looked so hard for it. How could anyone have discarded it? How could they do this dastardly deed to throw away what I'd written for you to read? But don't worry, I'll recover a little ditty for a ditty lover. But try as I just might, I can't think what to write. It has to be funny, it has to be witty. I know, I'll write a little ditty about a little ditty. So I think you'll get the gist. My ditty goes like this. As I travel from the city, etc. You like that one? I shall, I shall rewrite all of these ditties, whether, whether my family are embarrassed or not. Uh, morning, Joe. Oh, we've got, yes, we have all the Jennies here this morning, lovely. Right, let's do, that's hot, so let's put that there. And let's do another egg. Should we just, should we just do, so we'll see how we go. And say, should we just do three, but we can do as many as we want, can't we? Um, right, so this is going to be the chick. So not a lot to do with this one, really. Um, oh, I should have got black, shouldn't I? I'm going to do two little white eyes and a beak and some wings, and that, that'll do, I think. So let's cut out two little circles. So has anybody come over from Facebook, by the way, this morning? Because I, I haven't got a hope of getting on there this morning. No idea what's going on. It's still saying trying to connect over here, so ho hopefully you've come across. So that's going on there. Where's my glue? Here we go. Let's glue these on. Um, just notice we've got all the wrong details on YouTube again, haven't we? Not to worry, I'll change those after. I need to stick a pin in my glue. It dries up so quickly if you leave the top off. I'm glad you like me, Ditty Claire. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to glue these eyes on. Um, if you've got some googly eyes, that would be quite fun, wouldn't it? That one there, that one there. I'm going to leave my pin in there and hopefully that will stop it from seizing up. Then we need a beak. So I'll have a little yellow beak. I'll just cut some of that down smaller. So let's fold this in half and just cut out a triangle shape. That will do. And to put a couple of stitches in there just so it doesn't open all the way up. So just across the fold. That'll do. And that's going to go just under, <laughs> just under the eyes. It looks like he's got a blank expression on his face at the moment. Well, that's rather a lot of glue. So that's going on there. Oh, let's get him in the middle. Um, I haven't got black felt, but I do have a black pen. So I'm just going to do two dots for eyes like that. And then I think I'll glue some wings on after I've sewn it together. Um, again, leaving the gap just at the bottom. So nice time also to use things like your pinking shears. Ooh, that's a bit close. Um, or even decorative stitches, zigzag stitches would be fine. And a bit of toy filler. Again, I'd normally leave that all this glue to dry before I carried on, but um, I want to get it done. Uh, Denise normally has me on, on, on YouTube, on the TV, and Facebook for messages. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jill. I'm glad you came over. Technology is wonderful when it works, isn't it? But having a moment this morning. 
oh hi that's how you feel like, yeah we're not on facebook today um i might i might do one tomorrow we'll have a sh we'll have a short because i've got a busy day tomorrow it's office day tomorrow um so we might do a should we do a 10 o'clock a 10 o'clock half hour let's do i don't know what we're going to sew we'll sew something haven't we this one's going to be quite fat um sandra's from facebook too oh lovely how to make a fidget mat for dementia patients that's a nice idea helen we could, we could do that sometime right let's squish this down and sew over the hole <laughs> that's the silliest looking trick he's not exactly a cute one that one let's cut him out a couple of wings so again I'm just freehand cutting if that makes sense kind of curved triangles could you call those that's quite cute I suppose and I'm just gluing them on again Right. I can't wait to start crafting with my grand, my grandchildren. They're all too far away at the moment to even see. I think again, I'm just going to put a bit of colour on him. I've got a, I've got a red sharpie, so we could maybe have some. Little red cheeks. I know chickens don't have eyebrows, but kind of cute. So that's two. And let's just do one more. Let's do, should we do a pink one? And we'll have an Easter egg. for that one so it'd be quite nice as well if you just hung them up wouldn't it um, this is going to be bunting so i'm going to string them all together but if you just put a loop around the top and hung them up individually um maybe we could have set our, our christmas at easter that we're doing we could have an easter tree couldn't we and those could be decorations on the easter tree why not who says we can't do you like him jenny hmm. oh kathy's got to feed the starving dog <laughs> oh we don't take days off who's that sorry i missed you we don't take days off um debbie take mother's day off i'll write you a note if you need one <laughs> i wouldn't know what to do with myself if it didn't work though no definitely office day tomorrow we've got lots to do um mind you i should be giving my daughter a day off shouldn't i because she's a mum too going to make this next week with the grandkids that's a nice idea am i down to the bottom Oh, Patricia, hello. A little bit different this week. Um, I don't, I don't normally get gluey and sticky on a, on a Saturday morning, but I just thought we'd do something fun. Something fun for Easter that anybody can do. That's not a challenge. That's not learning new skills or anything like that. It's just having a bit of fun this morning. Um, right, Easter eggs have to be decorated could use ribbon or anything like that I'm just going to cut some zigzag shapes out of coloured felt is what I'm going to do unless you've got any other ideas as to what we can turn these eggs into what else is are they rabbit let's do four let's do rabbit as well okay this was going to be the Easter egg so I'm just going to cut some zigzag lines out of felt like that oh that's very zigzaggy it's fine so that can go across there 
So a bit of glue on the back. Well, there is, isn't really a back, is there? Hello, Brenda in Italy. I'm very good, thank you very much. Yeah, let's do a rabbit. So, put a few dots of glue on here. Can do a sheep. I haven't seen any lambs yet. Have you seen any lambs yet? Uh, stuck to that well and truly. Let's use tweezers. Oop, glue coming out there. I have to clean my table after this as well. So I'm going to put that at a, at a jaunty angle. Okay, let's trim that down. Like so. Oh, big bump. Um, and then I'm going to make it spotty. I'm going to have a spotty egg. So, do you want to do anything for Easter? We don't. We don't tend to actually. <laughs> Everything is covered in glue. Morning, Kitty in Massachusetts. Oh yes, and a carrot. Carrot for the uh, for the rabbit. Mustn't forget that. Um, it looks like a one-eyed monster at the moment, doesn't it? Right, let's chop that up there. Oh, worried. Well, we got green. Just have one green spot. Um, let's have a yellow. Or a big roast dinner for Claire on Christmas. Does hand sanitizer, really, the liquid hand sanitizers, does that clean, does it? I've got one knocking around here somewhere. So any tips like that, very, very welcome. Let me have I'm sure I have some hand sanitizer here. We'll give it a go. These, these type, yeah? Okay. Uh, a door hanging each, each, that's a nice idea. I was going to make a wreath. I quite fancied making a wreath. Well, you're right, it's coming off. I think I might need to use the whole bottle. I'm pretty well covered in it. Love that smell, don't you? Right. Um... More spots coming up. Let's do another couple of those ones, I think. There, it's a nice way of using little bits of stuff as well, isn't it? I've hardly used any felt, really, considering it's come from a pack of 20 sheets. I would be making my bunting longer normally, not just having three or four. So you can go, where can you go? You go there. Another one there. And I think we need another, let's have a darker yellow. We'll have a couple of those and we'll sew this one together. Morning, Sherry in Tennessee. Shares baking cherry cakes. I should maybe have arranged these before, shouldn't I? Well, there we go, a very pimply egg, that one. But it's nice and bright, so that'll look nice, I think. And then we'll have a rabbit. So again, let me clear this up. There's a mess in here. Clear this up and just sew around the bottom. Hello in Port Saint in Florida, that's uh, Heather. Okay, and then we just again sew around the edge. Whoops, sew over that. Do make sure if you uh, if you are using a wet glue and you sew over it that you do wait for the glue to dry. We don't want our we don't want our machines getting gunged up, do we? Jenny, there isn't a video on how to do um, Robin's hair. 
but it's a bit like um, a tailor's tack. How did I do it? So I went in, out, in, out and up and you find it doesn't come out. So take the needle down and bring it up a little bit, then do like a back stitch and pull it back up again and it makes a really, really tight um, knot. Takes a while to do. Robin is a, is a rag doll, if you weren't aware, another half yard club. In fact, he's, he's behind me over there. So it's a, it, it took ages to actually put that hair on, but it's worth it because he's got a really good mop of hair. So you could do that with, um, uh, with Maddie as well. A nice roast leg of lamb for Easter for Lydia. Um, I love it when you talk to each other. I feel like I'm intruding on your conversation somewhat. Oh, that's a little bit overfilled. They tend to distort a bit, don't they, when you stuff them too much. Okay, so I'll just sew round that one quite fun to make aren't they so it's, it's, it's sometimes just nice that you don't have to worry about seam allowances and matching points and things fitting and wobbly sewing lines and if things look a little bit silly then that's all the better isn't it a spotty egg <laughs> a very wonky spotty egg and I think like before we'll have let's put spots on spots just to give it something a bit different right uh, last one then let's let's do the rabbit should we have him on let's have him on the red one so rabbit shape um let's do round body little head so it's going to look a little bit like a snowman at the moment it's about the right size isn't it, it was a bit a bit wonky again never mind and two big ears so these are just like petal shapes with a rounded top bit. They're huge ears. And we'll have another one the same. So I'll just use this as a template. Oh, Daryl's got birthdays and Mother's Day tomorrow. It's Mother's Day in May in the States, isn't it? Otherwise, in March over here. <laughs> Are they too big? Is that silly? Or is that just... Uh, that's fine. And then we'll have a couple of back legs. And so quite big feet, I think. Oh no, no, I don't like that. Let's not have any legs. We can have, we could have him from the back and just put a little tail on there. Um, Donna, these would look lovely in fabric instead of felt. I'd, I'd cut them out with pinking shears though so they don't fray. If I were you. And then you can still sew them with the raw edges sewing. Otherwise, you can sew them inside out and turn them the right way around. So we'll have, let's have two little cheeks. Oh. So this is just like a figure eight, like that ears fell off. I'm going to draw his eyes on again I think and you know I think that I think that says enough doesn't it we could have some pink inner ears I think that might be quite nice I 
there, that'll do. That's what rabbit like, isn't it? Let's glue these on. Hi, Marissa. So, to glue on here. And I'm just using H640. I, I mean, I, and you can use PVA for this. It's not terribly important, is it? It's not going to go in the wash and it doesn't have to be particularly strong. And then ears go on. I'm going to leave the ends of those a little bit flappy. And then his cheeks. And the inner ears. So I'll glue those all the way down. It doesn't look like he's got four ears. Like so. Should we have a nose? A little pink nose, I think. So let's just get a triangle out for his nose. Oh, that wind sounded like a ghost again. Did you hear that? Oops. Um, so I was looking for my tweezers. There they are. And now I've lost the nose. There it is. Right, so that can go on there. Like so. Could do little French knots for eyes, couldn't you? If you've got, got time or you want to do a little bit more embroidery, maybe. I'm just going to use my pen again. And just do two dots just above the nose like so. <laughs> I think his ear needs trimming back a bit. And then you could do whiskers or anything else that you like. I need to leave that to dry a little bit because that's very wet. I'm put rather a lot on there. So I'll sew around that in just a second when we've had a catch up with you. Um, <laughs> Bobbin's out there, right? I don't know why she's hovering. She's not she's not coming in at the moment. Don't know why. Um. <laughs> oh, looking at the top of my head there, weren't you, when I was reading your comments? Um, good job I did my roots the other day. Um, found out how to communicate on YouTube. Oh, lovely. It's nice to have you along, Kate. Um, oh, I'm glad you like it. Right, let's see if we can sew that. I'd normally leave that a bit longer. That needs some embroidery on it. Um, but then we'll do that later. Okay, let's sew around this one. And then we'll string them all together. So. Right, round we go. Careful not to sew over his ears. And then we'll stuff him. A little white ball at the side would be nice, wouldn't it? I'll do that. I think that's a nice idea. Um, Gemma? So maybe a semicircle, so it looks like it's popping out from behind him. Like that. Yep, at the sides there. So that look like a tail? It's a bit more round. And we'll glue it on. It does look more like a hair than a rabbit, doesn't it? It's an Easter hair then, that's fine. There we go. And I'm going to put a bit of colour on him again as well. So again, just down the centre of the ears maybe. And he could have some little rosy cheeks. Could embroider some whiskers on him as well. And pop that in there. <laughs> Needs his ears pinning back. 
you reckon, Lisa? Uh, try and torture my phone with a six-year-old grandson dancing around the living room. <laughs> Um, oh, this is off my website, Helen De Felt. It's a, it's a huge pack of 20 sheets. So have a look on, uh, on Debbie Shaw sewing. A little bit more in there. Oh, the carrot. Oh, yes, of course, the carrot. Can't forget the carrot. Now, now everything's parting a little bit, look, when I'm stuffing them. Never mind, let's sew that up. And then we'll have to do a carrot. off my ends. Right, carrot, carrot, carrot. So I've got the, that's kind of carroty colour, isn't it? Let's use a little bit here. And it's like a wobbly triangle of carrot, isn't it? With a flat top. Put that on there, like he's holding it, and then a bit of green on the top. There, that's carroty, isn't it? This is going to make them with the grandchildren, but you're going to need sedation or gin. Same thing, really, isn't it? I'll tell you what I found. Um, well, it wasn't my discovery, really. Um, Gordon's non-alcoholic non non gin. It's actually all right. It doesn't taste like gin, but it's quite nice. But that won't sedate you, Lisa. You need the real thing. Let's stick the end of those down. OK, so that's rabbit finished. So let's string them together. I'll do five normally, I think. I think odd numbers look better than even numbers for things like this, but um, we'll just do those for now. So I have some um, baker's twine and a doll needle, and I'm literally going to thread my twine through the back of the bunting. Let's have him in the middle, like that obviously quite close to the top so that it hangs down. Or like I said earlier, you could just put little loops on them and hang them off your Easter tree. In and out like that. Oh, that's that. And then the daff. quite nice share uh, the non-alcoholic one I don't like the non-alcoholic wines that I've tried before but the um, the gin ones all right right and then finally my chick like that <laughs> take the needle off and do this And then I think the last thing I would do, I like, I kind of like them quite close together, but I'm just going to spread them out and pop a little bit of glue just on the back there to stop them sliding up and down on the string. So again, just leave that to dry for a second. It's called water. Hi Jennifer in Warminster, quite warm. That it would be, it'd be lovely here if it wasn't windy. Um, oh Mary, I was at, I was late actually. Mary, we had loads of technical issues this morning. It's still saying on Facebook that it's, it's connecting. It's been connecting for about an hour, an hour and twenty. Um, hi Angie, hi she, yeah. I, I, sorry if I missed anybody, and I've been trying to read most of your comments as we go, um, but I will go through them all again afterwards, like I always do. 
Um, so I, just a just a check. There's no really important messages or anything that needs answering. Beautiful day in Liverpool in Nova Scotia. Oh, how nice! Okay, well that's that done. So that should be dry now. So that's what it's looking like when it's hanging up. It's quite sweet, isn't it? Um, I might carry on and, and do a few more of those. Actually, I think they're loads of fun. Do you know what would look nice with them as well? Is to um, put them on a wreath. So if you had like one of those wire wreaths or a polystyrene one, you could just kind of um, put them around in a circle, couldn't you? What's your favourite one? It's got to be the rabbit, hasn't it? Oh, look, he's got his mouth wide open. I'll tell you what he needs. A tongue. There we go. Right, so let me just have a final check with you before we go. Um, if it's if it's okay with my daughter, I'll be late to work tomorrow. I'll um, we'll do something on Facebook in the morning. I'm going to do ten o'clock, so I do have to go to work. So it might just be for half an hour in the morning. But just really by way of an apology for those that couldn't join us for whatever reason on YouTube today. Um, and maybe he's still sitting there on Facebook waiting for me. It's not going to happen today, I'm afraid. Um, oh, morning, uh, uh, Daryl in Iowa. Is that right? Or lower? Um, thanks, Shirley. Jay de la Cour. Oh, Shay, you've got competition with sexy names now. Jay de la Cour. Oh, Joelle. Joelle Lacour, oh, I bet you've got Fru Fru Slippers. What a lovely name. Um, watching from Louisiana in, in the States. Welcome along. Hello. Um, okay, well, I'm going to be back again on YouTube next Saturday at, um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Don't know what we're doing. Might be something else Easter themed. I don't know. We go mad on Easter this year. Um, any suggestions, any requests, let me know. Um, don't forget we've got all of those brand new fabric bundles on the website on debbieshawsewing.com. Um, they tend to sell out really quickly, so we'll have people watching the repeats of the show today, tomorrow, and then I'll get loads of emails saying, well, he sold out. Um, but just to give you the heads up, because you're with me live this morning, so you kind of get priority, don't you? 11am, um, not 10am. No, no, I'm, I'm going to, uh, tomorrow, Lisa, I'm going to do 10. Oh, next Saturday. No, Saturday's 11. Sorry, I'm all over the place, aren't I? Um, next Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning, we should be live. We shall be live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. On Tuesday afternoon, uh, on my website and Facebook. So that's on, oh, it's raining. That's on Debbie Shaw. So there'll be a rainbow. It's really sunny and heavy rain as well. Love it when it's, oh, rainbows, magical. Love seeing rainbows. Um, anyway, that's by the by. Um, so on DebbieShawSewing.com on uh, Wednesday afternoon at two o'clock. I shall see you there for an hour. Don't know what we're going to do. Deborah, I've got have a look at those um, projects on on my YouTube channel. Um, it's uh, Learn to Sew for Kids. Um, <laughs> Debbie's YouTube PA. She's going to want paying and everything. That one. Um, oh yes, thank you, Lorna. It'd be much appreciated if you hit the like button. Actually, if you want to subscribe, if you don't already, if you hit the subscribe button and then the bell, you'll get an alert when it goes live. But I can also send bl like blanket emails out to everybody as well. I didn't this morning, I forgot. Um, but normally I would send out um, an email to all of the sub subscribers on YouTube just to say, going to, we're going to be live at whatever time we're going to be live. Um, <laughs> calm down, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I just like I said, I just think it's so nice to just sometimes, even if you're the dressmaker, the quilter, the expert sewer, to just do something silly, have a little bit of fun, get covered in glue, make something that a three-year-old could very adequately make, and um, and have a little bit of fun, do something quick. So that's what we've done. Mary, I did the ditty earlier. Did you did you not see me ditty? You'll have to rewind. Um, Oh, thanks, Lydia. Yes, that's, that's much appreciated if you do that. Takes you higher up the ranks, you know. Lisa in fabric. Stop giving her ideas now. Gosh. Um, 
Thanks, Lisa. Do you know, I said I was going off an hour ago, didn't I? So I really better go. Um, it's been lovely to have your company again this morning. If you want to join me on Facebook tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for half an hour, it'd be lovely to see you then as well. Don't know what I'm going to do, but we should certainly sew something. And otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday at 2 or next Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning. So you go take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I shall see you again very, very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.